everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 17th of may 2022 let's start when is the international day of plant health observed every year so the united nations has designated 12th of may as the international day of plant health to raise the global awareness on protecting the plant health and as per the united nations protecting plant health can help in ending hunger reduce poverty protect biodiversity and our environment and boost economic development okay so plants make up 80% of the food we eat and 98% of the oxygen we breathe and up to 40% of the food crops are lost due to plant pests and diseases every year okay now apart from it second global summit on covid-19 was recently held virtually and the summit was co-hosted by us belize germany indonesia and senegal and what were the objectives of this conference first is to ensure the health security of future health crisis second is to enhance access to the test and treatment and the third objective was to accelerate efforts to increase the global vaccine coverage okay then apart from it international nurses day is celebrated on 12th of may to mark the birth anniversary of florence nightingale who is considered as the founder of modern nursing and this year theme was a voice to lead invest in nursing and respect rights to secure global health okay and when do we observe the national technology day it is observed on 11th of may fine next question which country has been elected as the new chair of the association of asian election authorities for 2022 to 2024 so india has been unanimously elected as the new chair of the association of asian election authorities for 2022 to 2024 and commission on elections philippines was the previous chair of this authority and currently 20 asian election management bodies are the members of aaea and election commission of india is a founder member of the emd of association of asian election authority so new members include russia uzbekistan sri lanka maldives taiwan and the philippines okay now apart from it prime minister narendra modi has virtually addressed utkarsh samaroh event held at bharuch in the state of gujarat and it was organized to mark the celebration of 100% saturation of the four key schemes of the state government in the district so over 12000 beneficiaries were identified across the four schemes which include ganga swarup arthik sahay yojana indira gandhi vrutt sahay yojana niradhar vrutt arthik sahay yojana and rashtriya kutumb sahay yojana okay so if you are asked that utkarsh samaroh event was held in which state to celebrate the achievement of the four state government scheme answer would be gujarat 
Now apart from it, recently an MOU has been signed between the National Skill Development Corporation and UAE's DP World to develop Skill India International Center at Varanasi. And Skill India International Center provide high quality training to the Indian youth. And also National Skill Development Corporation has signed another MOU with the Medhavi Skill University to promote skill embedded degree or diploma courses among the students who have completed either class 10 or class 12 okay so don't forget that this skill india international center would be set up in varanasi fine next question catalin novak was elected recently as the first female and the youngest president of which country so the parliament of hungary has elected catalin novak as the country's first ever female president and she is also Hungary's youngest ever head of state. So earlier she served as a minister for family policy and she was known for the government policies including the tax breaks and the handouts designed to encourage the young families to have more children. Fine. Now apart from it, the Union Ministry of Law and Justice has recently announced that Mr. Rajiv Kumar, who is the current election commissioner, will take over as the next chief election commissioner from 15th of May. And Mr. Rajiv Kumar, who has been appointed by the President of India, will take charge from chief election commissioner Sushil Chandra, who is due to retire soon. And Rajiv Kumar had also served as the chairman of Public Enterprises Selection Board. Okay, so don't forget that now our new chief election commissioner would be Mr. Rajiv Kumar. And also we have seen that Mr. Sanjeev Bajaj has been appointed as the president of Confederation of Indian Industry that is CII. After that Pushp Kumar Joshi has been appointed as chairman and MD of HPCL means Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. And Sangeeta Singh has been appointed as the chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes. Fine. Next question. Which country's Mars lander recently detected the largest quake that was observed on another planet? So NASA's InSight Mars lander detected the largest quake that was ever observed on another planet and the rover landed on Mars in November 2018. And it has heard nearly 1,313 quakes so far, of which the largest Mars quake was detected in August 2021. So on Earth, these quakes are caused by the shift in tectonic plates, but Mars does not have the tectonic plate and its crust is a giant plate. Okay. So as for the NASA, the Mars quakes are caused due to the stress that caused the rock fracture on its crest okay so correct answer would be usa because it is nasa now a few days back we have talked about the perseverance mars rover of nasa which has captured a video of an eclipse on phobos and phobos is one of the two moons on the planet mars right after that you'd have heard about europa clipper mission or you can say europa multiple flyby mission it is an interplanetary mission being developed by NASA to study the Jupiter's moon Europa and it is scheduled to be landed in October 2024. Fine. Also NASA has selected two science missions for our understanding on the dynamics of the sun which is constantly changing space environment and sun earth connection and the name of these two missions is Moose and helio swam fine what is the full form of muse multi slit solar explorer multi slit solar explorer okay next question what is the contribution made by india to expand the use of hindi in the united nations so india has contributed 8 lakh dollars towards the efforts to continue to expand the use of hindi in the united nations 
and Hindi at the rate United Nations project in collaboration with the United Nations Department of Public Information was launched in the year 2018 and aim was to enhance the public outreach of the United Nations in our Hindi language. Also, it aims to spread greater awareness about the global issues among Hindi speaking people of the world. Okay. Now, apart from it, the Department of Consumer Affairs recently organized a one day national workshop on Legal Metrology Act 2009. And this act was passed to establish and enforce standards of weights and measures regulate the trade and commerce in the weight measures and other related goods so union consumer affairs food and public distribution minister piyush goel said that there is a need for decriminalization of the legal metrology act 2009 okay so only thing relevant from this question is you can be asked that which union ministry is associated with the legal metrology act answer would be ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution okay next question indian army signed memorandum of understanding to set up the red shield center for excellence and wellness in which state or union territory so indian army has signed a memorandum of understanding to establish the red shield center for excellence and wellness in bishnupur district in the state of manipur and red shield division under Spear Courts has signed the Memorandum of Understanding with Corporate Partner State Bank of India Foundation and the Training Partner National Integrity and Educational Development Organization and this center will coach underprivileged students of Manipur to make them eligible for admission to the best colleges and universities in India. Fine. So this center would be set up in Manipur. Now apart from it, India's first Flow Chemistry Hub has been set up in Hyderabad recently. Also, Maharashtra state is the first in India to set up a gene bank project. And you have to tell me what is the aim to develop this project? What is the aim of this project? Also, don't forget that India has agreed to set up a trade and technology council along with European Union. And in the last lecture, we have seen that Yuva Tourism Clubs is to be set up by Central Board of Secondary Education, that is CBSC. Okay. Next question. Which country recently replaced Russia in the United Nations Human Rights Council? So the United Nations General Assembly voted for the Czech Republic to replace Russia in the UNHRC. And Russia was earlier suspended over allegations of human rights violation by the Russian soldiers there in Ukraine. So seats on the council are divided among regional groups and a replacement for Russia had to come from an East European country. So Czech Republic was the only candidate for the seat on the 47 members human rights council. Okay. Now talking about Russia, Russia celebrates 9th of May as Victory Day. Why? To commemorate the Soviet Union's role in defeating the Nazi Germany in the World War II. Also, there was a report from CIPRI in which it talked about how much a particular country spends on its military. Basically, it is a report on military expenditure and the topper in this ranking was USA, second was China, third was India, fourth was UK and fifth was Russia. So India is the world's third highest military spending country. Okay. Now also we have seen that President of Ukraine Vladimir Zelensky has asked the USA to include Russia in its state sponsor of terrorism listing. Means it wants USA to give the Russia the state sponsor of terrorism tag and already four countries are there in this list which are these Syria, Iran, North Korea and Cuba. Okay. Now Vladimir Zelensky wants Russia to be also included in this list. Next question. Which institution releases the Fostering Effective Energy Transition Report? So the World Economic Forum 
releases the fostering effective energy transition report recently and as per this study an urgent action by both private and the public sector is required to ensure a resilient energy transition to address the challenges to environmental sustainability environmental security and affordability so the special edition report that was launched in collaboration with accenture listed recommendations for the governments companies consumers to progress the energy transition okay now apart from it union minister of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying shri purushottam rupala has released the breed wise report of livestock and poultry based on the 20th livestock census and for the very first time the breed wise data was collected by using tablet and computer okay so as per this report the exotic and cross bred animal contribute 26.5% of the total cattle population whereas 73.5% are indigenous and non descript cattle and cross bred jersey has the highest share in exotic cattle and in terms of buffalo the murra breed contributes 42.8% and they are commonly found in uttar pradesh and rajasthan okay so if you are asked that murra is the common breed of which animal that is found in india answer would be buffalo okay next question artificial intelligence engineering services limited partnered with which company for maintenance of its critical equipment on the key defense platform so artificial intelligence engineering services limited recently entered into an mou with the company boeing for the maintenance of its critical equipment on key defense platforms used by the navy and vvip aircraft operated by the indian air force and this is in line with the commitment made in the india us ministerial dialogue to strengthen mro means maintenance repair and operation capabilities in india right now talking about some of the important companies here few days back we have seen that indian oil corporation has launched m15 petrol with 15% blend of methanol with petrol fine after that reliance industries is the first indian company to cross 100 billion dollars annual revenue also vikas kumar has been appointed as the new md of delhi metro rail corporation right the next question the rock which was auctioned recently for 18.8 million dollar is a dash so the rock is the biggest white diamond ever auctioned and it was sold for a price of 18.8 million dollars and this 228.31 carat stone which was larger than a golf ball was sold in geneva and there was a high hope that this rock would break the world record for a white diamond which stands at 33.7 million dollars so the large diamond was extracted from a mine in south africa in the early 2000 and now it has been displayed in dubai taipei and new york before its scheduled sale in genoa okay so correct answer is it is diamond so these were the most important news and the current affairs from today and now we'll come to the revision section so today we'll cover three categories first category is cricket second would be tennis and third would be important championships right So first of all we'll see some of the important cricket related current affairs. Kiron Pollard who announced the retirement from international cricket represented which country? So recently he has announced his retirement from the international cricket and he represented the West Indies. How many Indians featured in the 2022 edition of Wisden 5 cricketers of the year list? So in this list two cricketers were featured and who were they? First is Jaspreet Bumrah and second is rohit sharma okay don't forget that leading man cricketer in the world decided in this list was jo root then leading women cricketer in the world is lizelle lee and the leading t20 cricketer in the world is mohammad rizwan from the country pakistan 
ओके विच इंडियन क्रिकेटर हैज बिन प्रेजेंटेड द प्रेस्टिजियस स्पोर्ट्स आइकन अवार्ड सो दिस अवार्ड हैज बिन प्रेजेंटेड टू सुरेश रैना विच इंडियन क्रिकेटर रिसेंटली बिकेम द हाइएस्ट विकेट टेकर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द वुमेन्स वर्ल्ड कप दिस इज वेरी फेमस झूलन गोस्वामी हु इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन वुमेन क्रिकेटर to appear at 6 icc women's cricket world cup this is mithali raj and the last question is which is the venue of the 2022 icc women's cricket world cup so the venue of this event was new zealand and who has won this cup answer is australia by defeating the country england right now we'll see some of the important tennis related current affairs stefano tsitsipas who won the monte carlo masters 2022 is a tennis player from which country so don't forget that the winner of monte carlo masters is stefanos tsitsipas and he is from greece iga swiatek who has become the women's tennis association world number 1 is from which country so she is from poland ashley party who retired from her tennis career recently is from which country so ashley party has recently announced her retirement from tennis career and she is from Australia which table tennis player was recently selected as an Adidas brand ambassador so Adidas has recently selected Manika Batra as its brand ambassador which tennis player won the Mexican Open title 2022 so it was won by Rafael Nadal who is the first male tennis star to win the 21 Grand Slam title again answer is Rafael Nadal okay now we'll see some of the important championships Which racing driver won the inaugural Miami Grand Prix championship? Answer is Max Verstappen. Ronnie O'Sullivan, who recently became the oldest world champion, plays which sport? So he is related to snooker. India's PV Sindhu won which medal or position in the Asian Championships 2022? So in this, PV Sindhu has won the bronze medal. How many medals did India win in the Asian Wrestling Championships 2022? So in total we have earned 17 medals out of which one was gold, 5 were silver and 11 were bronze. Which team won the men's title in the 71st Senior National Basketball Championship? This is Tamil Nadu and Tamil Nadu has defeated Punjab to win this championship. I am talking about the women's title. It was won by Indian Railway and indian railway has defeated telangana to win this championship which country is the winner of the 2022 saff under 18 women championship so this was won by india and the valuable player and the highest goal scorer in this was linda kaum okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off